Howdy, B. Bar here, and welcome. This is going to be part one of tips and tricks for playing SnowRunner. And for some of the more complicated missions that um, I hear people are having troubles with, I want to show my methods for completing them. So, what I'm getting going here, now, I'm starting with an absolute fresh playthrough. Instead of my level 30 with 100% complete and, and everything. When you first start off playing the game, follow these tooltips that keep popping up. Um, honestly, I think that they're actually good information. And there is a way to uh, disable them from reoccurring by going into your settings. So if the, the missions you know keep popping up and tooltips and so forth, you can go to your settings menu and repeated hints turn off. And in my case right here, I, I'm not going to skip the tutorial, but I'll just keep ignoring them. So when you first start off playing, you start off with the Chevrolet C1500, or in the game called it CK1500. Um, when I first start off, I just go ahead and throw it in all-wheel drive by hitting the E key. And so you know, I am playing on PC, and I'm utilizing keyboard and mouse. Keeping it simple, and it works. So, I've completed these missions quite a few times, so... The, the way that I do them, if they seem a little unorthodox at first, just kind of bear with them. But I've found that they're the easiest or fastest way to do things. Now, to, to keep it central, or neutral, uh, I like to do all these without using any mod trucks whatsoever. And yes, you can just go ahead and drive through here. I'm not going to take any significant damage. No mod trucks, and I am going to use the uh, starter trucks quite a bit, but I am also going to be utilizing stuff from the Season Pass, and honestly, if you don't have the Season Pass, just go ahead and get it, <laughs> you know, um, for sure, definitely worth it. Yeah, I'm a person, I have all of the DLC and Season Pass, and I have no problem supporting the uh, developers whenever it comes to... Uh, the creation of a game. So it's prompting you to open the map. So you hit map key. Okay, okay. And it's going to prompt you to go to the global map there also. And yes, you got, um, yep. So, we are actually not ready to get our first mission, but it's here anyway. So, Find our first truck. Let's actually get back to it. So once we've got to our first watchtower, then it tells us to go find the first truck. And you see, I just rolled right through. And once you come down this hill here, stay to the left. You know, it's fun to go play in the mud. Don't get me wrong. But when you're in starter trucks and you don't have a whole lot going on yet, then um, yeah, you're you're going to be at a disadvantage. So playing in the mud is not going to be to your advantage until you actually uh, can upgrade your vehicles. So whenever possible, uh, avoid deep mud, deep snow, and stick to the grassy areas beside the road. If there are any exceptions, and there are going to be exceptions, I will point them out. Take your time. There's no time limit for this mission. So do your best not to roll over, and it is possible to roll over in anything, so. And this is our first truck. Well, technically our second truck now. I don't want to launch observation. So, I'm going to hit the V key, and it's going to break up my menu. Change truck, go to GMC 1500, okay. We're going to open our map, and it's going to prompt us to get this next mission here. And we're going to activate it. Now, where it's wanting us to go, if we can get all these tooltips out of the way, is right over here. Get um, 
well, actually it wants to get the metal beams, so that's what we're going to do first. But when we get done getting the metal beams, we're going to come back over here, and I'm sure you can see it, but right there is a trailer that's already preloaded with two wooden planks. So we're going to go ahead and grab that, and we'll be set up to complete the old bridge reconstruction all at one time. So, to get the metal beams, I'm just going to make a hard left. Now, this truck is going to be awful at first. There is no all-wheel drive on it right now. And to be able to get the all-wheel drive, we're going to have to go to another map to be able to find it. doesn't make any sense, the fact that it's an American truck and we have to go to a Russian map to go find it. But, you know, welcome to SnowRunner. So we'll just come right over here, and we come into the little town here. The little sleepy town of Black River. We're going to make this first left. I believe it or not, I actually like this truck. Uh, not at first, because you don't have any mud tires, you just got the street tires only, and uh, no all-wheel drive. We'll get to this intersection. I'm actually going to turn right, then left, and then we'll go in here and grab our, our metal beams. Yeah, I know, I'm staying in the correct lane, more or less. <laughs> Mind, you do have a trailer here that's got some stuff in it. Yeah, just leave it. Don't worry about that sign. So, I'm going to hit C, hit F, hit Escape. And we're auto loaded. For right now, we have no method of doing manual loading, so we're going to skip that. If you want to do manual loading later on, you're going to need a crane of some sort to load your truck. Because it will spawn the stuff on the ground and you'll have to pick it up and put it in your truck. We don't have that ability right now, so we're going to skip that. So now, all we have to do is come back over here, head straight towards the trailers, make this right hand turn here, and go right back the way we just came. Now, believe it or not, I'm going to have to watch my speed in this truck. On the highway, this thing is going to do really, really good. It's going to make good progress. But then we start bouncing around off-road. The fact that we now have weight on the back, if we get going too much, it will flip over. It's okay to get into a little bit of the, uh, the deeper stuff here, because it's not really that deep in this, this section here. But by the time I get to this uh, tree right here, you can see I'm starting to get squirrely. I need to slow down because this truck will start bouncing around a little bit too much and we'll lose control of it. It is capable of going that fast on this harder packed material. So even though it says to uh, deliver the, uh, the metal beams, we're not going to do that right now. Because we'd have to go there, deliver the metal beams, and then come immediately straight back over here get the wooden planks. Well, we don't have room for them, which is okay. Metal beams takes up two slots, and we already have a two-slot trailer right there that is full of two wooden planks. So, you can just come right over here, back up, and instead of backing all the way up into that mud, I'm just going to stop about here and see if i got enough room to connect my winch. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull forward and hit the F key so I can winch and pull at the same time. But pay attention so you don't flip that trailer over. So we're getting XP for the, finding the trailer too. So as soon as we get it up close enough to where you can see it's not really winching any farther, you can try attaching your trailer. And there we go. So now that we have both parts that we're going to end up needing, we have the metal beams and we have two wooden planks. Another little added bonus, we now have a trailer also that we can sell and make a few bucks. Because when you first start off, money is going to be tight. You're not going to have a whole lot you can spend money on, but money is going to be tight. Okay, 
So I will apologize ahead of time for non-season pass holders. Um, I will be utilizing stuff that is available in the season pass. One of which is going to be the all-wheel drive upgrade for this truck. And the reason for that is it makes it a good truck. In fairness, I should probably not do it and just stick to non-season pass only. But it's not that expensive to get and it's worth having. Not just for the fact of getting an all-wheel drive for this, but you also get three new trucks, two new maps, and um, some unique upgrades that are only available, like all-wheel drive for this, and for the twin steer, which has gotten a bad rap. Um, but both the twin steer and this truck both become very usable after um, going and getting those upgrades. Trouble is getting those upgrades is going to be challenging. Won't do that in this video, uh, just simply because uh, of time. I want to keep these videos relatively short. But I wanted to focus in on completing your first missions, getting your first garage, and getting set up, and doing this first tutorial mission, getting this done as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible. Now, I'm not always going to do everything efficiently because sometimes it's just good to have fun. But doing this mission right here this way makes it so that you can get this completed in a short amount of time. We're just over 10 minutes, and we're going to stop here. C key, unload. I'm going to get a cutscene. And then we're going to hit enter again. We've been promoted to level 2. Yay! Now the bridge is complete, it's going to want us to go and get our garage. Which is also easy enough. And I'm not going to be using the map for this. Because I kind of know where to go. So once we get across the bridge and start going down the hill, we're going to make a right. So far this truck has been primarily on highway and it's performed really well. But we're getting ready to get a first taste of a little bit of dirt and other terrain that will, well, introduce you to the art of using a winch to move along at times. Momentum's a good thing. Let's see if we can scoot through here without getting stuck. See, I'm moving back and forth across the road trying not to get into the uh, the main ruts of the road, which will slow us down to a crawl or to a complete stop. Um, a lot of times you'll get stuck right there, but just stay off to the side of the road as much as you possibly can, and you'll be able to get through here. Then we'll get back on some hard top, and we'll be able to get our speed back up again. Speed is good at times, but it's not always good. No, I wasn't trying to stay in my lane. You don't have to. It's not like we have oncoming traffic to deal with. And this isn't real life, so... <laughs> Just stay on this main road. And this will bring us up um, at the farm over here on our left. Which you'll get used to going to. And you'll really want a wheel drive dealing with that farm. Because it could be ugly. And getting to the garage, we can go the most direct route and get there. We should just stay on this road and it'll be on a right. But we can also come over here and make a left. Right here, just past these rocks. And lock us down the roads because we will get stuck there. Just like that. You see, we don't have all-wheel drive, so if you can't make it, don't worry about it. Um, the main reason why I was suggesting going here was the fact that we actually have a um, an upgrade that was right there.
but as you can see, it's doable. Even if you have a little bit of trouble. So you've got a narrow bridge, and this is something also you're going to have to get used to, is driving with a bit of finesse. You can't always go full bull in a china shop and just roll through. Sometimes you have to actually pay attention and drive a little bit on the slow side. We just want to get our tire off in there. Turn off. Alright, Ray Suspension. Well, it's not going to help us for this truck, but it will help us for the next truck. Or me, I, I, I didn't actually look at it. I should have. Alright, so there is our garage right over here. And though it's tempting to just take a shortcut and roll right through there, you do have tree stumps and other things in the way that can potentially stop you. And by keeping the trailer after we completed that mission, we can go straight in. I know it wants us to go right over there and get our garage, but let's go right over here first. See, there's um, a couple trailers that are already preloaded with some other stuff. They're going to be for other missions. But discovering them gets you extra XP. And now I can find the trailer on the list and sell. And we just made a few extra bucks. Now we just need to roll over here first. And we've got another upgrade that we can get and another truck that we can get. The Fleet Star. Get the upgrade, engageable all-wheel drive. You can just hit the X key and see what it actually goes for, which is the engageable all-wheel drive for the truck to sitting right here. So we go right over here and there. Now we hit C to enter the garage and go through our tool tips. It wants us to go to Alaska as our next mission. So we go to our global map. Alaska, Northport, and then go to our map icon here, garage, and then hit enter, and it will transport us to the garage in Northport. And essentially, this will wrap up the tutorial missions and have us all set and ready to go for actually playing the game and doing the normal missions. So we'll do this. We'll go to Northport. And as soon as it loads in, we will immediately just, hey, look, it's our garage. We look at our truck storage. And unfortunately for us, we didn't recover our other truck. Now, I have DLC trucks here, but now we go to our main menu. I'm sorry. Go to our goal map and go back to Michigan. Go back to here. Go to our garage entrance, hit enter, and we can go back. One of the most important facts is truck recovery. Now, the only reason why we went to the other map was just to complete the tutorial. But the one thing that we have to remember is retain your trucks. And what I mean by that, I'll show you really quickly. You can see this truck is still in the garage, but we couldn't use it in the other map. So the one thing to remember is to go ahead and hit that retain and you put it in there. Click our local map and you see we have the Fleet Star now. It is absolutely broken so we're just going to recover and accept. We're going to retain that one. Go back to our local map and get our Chevrolet CK 1500 and then we're going to do that as well. We're going to hit recover except go back to the garage we're going to retain that one and if we look at our truck storage now we have these three trucks now these two are DLC trucks but so if we look at this if we go back hit deploy hit back go to customize we don't have a whole lot of options to work with um, this is our starting engine what we have installed now the only one we have available Mm. 
is actually worse than what we already have. So we're going to keep that engine. That'll do just fine. Gearbox, we don't have any other options to work with. Suspension, we did pick up a raised suspension. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on by hitting Enter to install. I'm going to go back to my stock suspension and I'm going to sell it. That's going to give us 4,000 credits back. Tires, we don't have much in the way of options to work with and we only have 16,250 credits. We can go to a 47 inch tire. We already have the UHD one. We can go to the taller tire which is going to help us a little bit. If you look at the ratings on the tires one's just as good as the other but I'm going to go with the UHD twos. I'm going to hit enter and then enter again to install it and then I'm going to go back to my stock tires and I'm going to sell those and that's going to give you $2,300 so I did not lose that much money right there. Winch wise don't have any other options whenever you do get the availability spend the, the large amount of money um, to actually get the advanced medium. Diff lock well Explore Michigan to find this item. So we're going to need to find that item. And we'll do that in another mission. In another video. Spare wheel. I don't think I've ever used it anyway. But requires to be level 10. Snorkel. Go ahead and get it. All wheel drive. Hmm. Kola Peninsula. Russia. We're going to have to go to a season pass map in order to get the engageable all wheel drive, and I'll show that in another video. Frame add ons. The reason why I like this truck is at level 6, we can use this red crane. We can get a flatbed. We can add a van body later at level 4. A maintenance box. Metal detector module. Um, I don't have it yet, it's on Colo. Seismic vibrator module, also useful for uh, Russian missions. Cyborg bed, which is on there. I'm going to keep that on there because that's the primary thing that I use quite often. Uh, later, we can also use this as a fuel truck. This is a usable item. Maybe not as much right now, but you can actually use this and this and still pull a trailer. Very unique for trucks. But we'll worry about that later on the visuals very seldom do I bother doing anything if you want to add these in that's fine I'm gonna do it just for the cosmetic look and I have to remember I can sell my stock parts and get money back front side not worried about that rooftop I do like having roof fog lights because if you're playing co-op you don't have any control over the day night cycle and it's nice to be able to see where you're going. Front bumper. I actually like this one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to it just because. And I'm going to sell this one. It's easy to get wild with your credits, but just remember you can sell your stock parts and get some money back. I'm not going to use the factory parking lights. So I can uninstall and sell. That's 300 bucks back. I'm not going to use the external horns uninstall, sell, and there's another. So that's 500 bucks we just got back. Exhaust, either is fine. I'm actually going to go with the, the ones that are already on here. You got different rims, and thankfully these don't cost you any money. No real need to change them. I'm just going to put those on here for giggles. Go to paint jobs, again, entirely up to you what you choose. I tend to use blue quite a bit. And then bobbleheads. Gotta have my doggy. And I gotta have my ace of hearts. Plenty of stickers. I'm not gonna worry about them. Uh, but we now have this truck all set up. I'm gonna hit retain go back to my truck storage and look at my fleet star you can deploy that go back and do customize engine wise nothing else new nothing else nothing else really be nice to have chain tires but can't have those to level 12 
winch we cannot change diff lock we cannot change we have the engageable all-wheel drive so we're going to go ahead and put that on there so the other one frame add-ons it is also quite useful the sideboard bed is going to be your most useful item because you can carry two things in there and if you do tip over a little bit it will help you to retain your cargo keep you from falling out but I'll cover more of that in another tips and tricks so that's it you can just go through and pick out what you want and dress up your trucks just don't get crazy at first because you don't have a lot of money All right, so we get back. We're going to retain this one. And in our truck storage, we also had the CK1500. You can deploy this one and look at it. Again, we're not going to have a whole lot to work with. 31 inch tires is all we got. But they're all terrains. So I am going to go ahead and spend the money on the all terrains. We don't have suspension, so yeah, we're stuck with that. So we can do those, or those, or those. I'm actually going to go with, I like those, but we're going to go with, uh, yeah, we're going to go with these. Again, we're going to sell our stock ones. So remember, selling your stock parts will get you some of your money back when you can afford to do so. And I can't afford to do so right now. 9400 credits it's a little expensive but it's a lot worth it so now I am absolutely dirt poor but I can sell that get a thousand back or snorkel we don't have enough for a snorkel right now or anything else but that will be something that I will definitely want so I'm gonna go ahead and put my DLC paint job on there and Got to have doggy, got to have my air freshener. So now we're poor and it's time to start making some money. So we'll leave it here for this video. And I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions for videos, stop by my Discord channel and let me know there. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.